Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Zero from Duck Dragon Out Info, and today we have a sub-Saturday because, well, you know, it's Saturday. <laughs> That's what happens on Saturday most of the time. Um, and today, if I can actually click in the game, there we go, we have System NM, uh, MNE, I guess, in his KV4. I'm gonna assume it's a his, might be a her, but 99% chance it's a his. Um, and it's a pretty, I'm not gonna say awful matchup, but yikes, two tier 10s, whole slew of tier 9s, uh, now this tank is not the worst, um, it's kind of funny he's following his big brother, the SC1, um, this tank is not the worst when it comes to tier 10 games, oh, SC1 takes a big shot to the face, luckily his armor held up pretty decently, front of a Tiger 2 turret mm, can be a tough target. Now, like I said, this tank is not the worst in tier 10. Um, there are tanks that I would rather not be in than this thing in the tier 10 game. However, it's also not really the best. In tier 10s, your armor tends to not hold up as well as when you're in tier 9 or tier 8. So, you're, you know, the, the functionality of your tank is just less by this time. There we go, nice shot into the top of the 30 there, killing him. Some shots raining down from the hill into the middle there. Painful shot by the looks of it. We're waiting for that uh, Death Star to pop out. Turn 2, don't have a line on him, there's the Death Star. Can we get a line on him? Oh, turret of the Death Star. Not the easiest thing to pin. Um, this is a 9.3 replay by the way, so the Death Star has not been buffed yet when it comes to turret armor. Fast moving Centurion. And he's behind the buildings. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it looked like he was coming over here, and I'm pretty sure that system here was looking at him as well, like, ooh, ooh, and nope. So, yeah, in tier 10, the armor just doesn't hold up as well. I mean, it still holds up. Don't get me wrong. Nice shot into the turret cheek there. Very nice shot. Bit of a clutch shot, but it went exactly where it was aiming. But, yeah, the armor just doesn't hold up that well in tier 10. Because most of the guns are big enough to either 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 overmatch your side armor or just pen regardless, or you know. So, yeah, it's tough to be in this tank. And then, of course, you don't have the speed. You know the wow that WZ just ran towards his death. <laughs> you don't really have the speed to flank around to um, be more of a support tank because you're pretty slow. So. It's, Thing can be tough in tier 10, but in certain situations it can still work very well. Put a nice shot into the uh, Death Star there. And this gun is pretty good for a tier 8, I have to say. Really, especially for a Russian. 227 pin, 320 damage, uh, decent aim time, decent reload. It's a pretty good gun. I certainly prefer this over any 120 meter. Going for that turret cheek. Tough shot on Tiger 2 if he has the upgraded turret. If it was a stock turret, then every single one of those shots would have gone through. Upgraded turret, uh, different story. Go for the hatch, there we go. Nice shot into the hatch. Not fully aimed, but it went in anyways. Man, you are getting lucky with your shots. Another one. Oh, that one didn't go in. We just survived a Death Star shot with no damage taken. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that is Hesh for you. Shoot Hesh and a heavily armored target at its tracks. Uh, Tiger 2 is not stupid. Oh, we hit the mm, wall in front of us. What did the Death Star even have to shoot at us? All we had was the Death Star optics. I'm not sure where he hit. I just bounced a uh, shot off the uh, turret up top there. The turret is pretty strong. As you can see here, right in that corner. So far, we've hardly taken any damage. Hmm, that was a wreck there. Sadly, that didn't go anywhere. But yeah, uh, System here is doing everything right with this tank. Side scraping, picking your fights, picking who to uh, shoot at and where. So yeah, he's playing this thing pretty good. And as some of you might know, I do own a KV4 myself, so I do know what I'm talking about. And I have to say, I like this tank. Um, I'm in no rush to get to the ST1. Yeah, the ST1, it seems armored, but how do I put it? It never seems to quite 
rise to the occasion, I guess? Like, it can be pretty damn good at, you know, holding flanks and pushing flanks, but it never seems to be... Hmm, you know? Oh, perfect shot. Either go for the hatch or the solid turret. Not fully empty, doesn't matter. Show goes in anyways. <laughs> oh man, these shells are flying straight and true. Holy shit. I mean, the accuracy on this gun is okay. It's not the best, but it's definitely not the worst. But shooting all of those shots not fully aimed, that's a wee little bit lucky if they all went in. Yeah. Let's drag it over there. Seems that the base is having a bit of trouble there. Oh, Indian pens are taking a big furry shot to the face. Might be able to sneak up behind these people and put some flanking shots into them. Alpha Trigger, Alpha Panzer Fia. Um, seems to be just around the corner here. Just one of these buildings. Not around the corner, I mean, in front of us, those buildings. We get a shot into the ass of the Indian Panzer. Oh, we got an IS 3. Oh, shot didn't go in. I want to angle a bit better. He's going to pin at that angle. It's a bit too excessive. Or he just... Wait. What did he even shoot at? He just threw was like looking at the building. And... Can you believe this? The shot went into his tracks. Right there. And from the Waffenträger auf Panzerfia, and no damage done. How are you getting this stinking lucky? My god! <laughs> Holy shit! I mean, I've had games where I've taken like 6-7k damage to my tracks and none of them penned, but... Holy shit, that was just start scraping on a corner and people just kept popping my tracks, but this... Pulls out sideways in front of an ice 3 doesn't get penned. What the hell's going on? You can't go any further. Oh, ouch. Put a nice return shot into the uh, often trigger. There's two tanks remaining. I think they're both at the cap circle, if I'm not mistaken. What is it? We have the T125. Actually, I haven't seen the T125 yet. Wow, somebody just tracked it off and trigger. Yep, yeah, can we get the shot in? Look at the turrets. Yep, there we go. Nice roll there. Well, not a great roll, but... Did they just kill each other? No, he killed the IS-3 and T-71 killed him. Okay. Um, so did T-125. It's oh, crap, there he is. T-125, if you get the chance, you want to shoot him in the lower plate. Let's see if we can angle. Come on, show yourself. Okay, let's pause it here. It's, I can't quite see it. But um, you can see where the tank is, right? It's right, right there. If you have his tracks, right next to his tracks, you can't see it because this is in the way, but right next to his tracks, on the lower plate, is where you want to shoot him. Not even the middle of the lower plate. The middle of the lower plate is still pretty damn strong. You want to shoot him right next to the tracks in the lower plate on both sides. That's the uh, weak spot. I think the turret on top is even really not that weak at all, I think. So what I've left is a T-71 and a KV-4 against a T-125. This can be dangerous. Yeah, right down below there. Uh, upper plate is not gonna pin. Oh, and he shoots the Waffentrager corpse. Now, let me pause it here. Why is this T-71 not pulling back and going around? I mean, very simple. Pull back, go around, and you sandwich him. You know, you pincer him. Pincer move. And he has no choice but to point his gun at either system here or the T-71. Very simple. Why is he still sitting there? I think he's finally... Nope, he's still not moving. Go for it, yep. Yeah, that was right where I was saying. See, he went right through the tracks, right into that spot. So, there and right over there. Right alongside the track is where you want to shoot him in lower plates with uh, definitely with lower pen guns. And I think anywhere else is really a weak spot. I think this machine gun hatch is somewhat of a weak spot, but you still need about 210 pen to go through it. Don't quote me on that, I'm not 100% sure, but it's still pretty armored. It's not really a weak, weak spot, and it's rounded. Upper plates, don't even try, it's pretty much auto-bounce for most guns. 
lower plate. I think this is about 200 as well, effective armor at least, in the middle, and it's about 120, 130 on those sides. Those really are the weakest spots on this thing, but other than that, it's a pretty well armored tank from the front, really. So, let's take a look at the stats. And here we are with the stats. Um, let's actually go back to the first page here. This was a Master Batch Ace Tanker, not that surprising. We got a Fighter, Shellproof, Duelist, and a Fire for Effect. Did not damage that many people, but overall, I would say it was a pretty good game. Um, being a Tier 8 and a Tier 10 game, definitely a good game. Um, and he brought the game home. T71 did okay. Um, I was going to say it didn't do too well, but 900 damage on a city map in Tier 10. It's actually pretty good, to be honest. T71 is very hard to do well in on a city map like Himmelsdorf. So, yeah, uh, played well at the end there. I would have loved to see the T71 actually, you know, use tactics and go around and flank the T125. Because he could have won the game, the T125. If he stayed behind that corpse and went hold down to hide his lower plate, he might have very well um, won the game. So, yeah, I would have loved that T71 to see go around and... Uh, no, we can't see a minimap there. Yeah, and actually flank around, but in the end, it still worked. Anyways, top experience, 1360 experience. Not bad at all. Let's take a look. Fire 22 shots, hit 20, pen 13. Um, yeah, I got nothing to say about the shots he fired. Um, he fired one at the upper plate of the T125. Yeah, that was never going to pen. Um, that was pretty much the only bad shot, really. Other than that, he got pretty lucky with half of those shots. Uh, I mean, skill. Definitely skill. Um, and yeah, uh, 3.5k damage then. Pretty good. He took 10 hits to the face. <laughs> 7 of them penetrated. 3 did not. A couple of those were Death Star shots. 4,000 potential damage. 4.4k. Not bad. Spotted 2. Damage 6. Destroyed 4. We got 19 cap points. Woohoo! Nine defense points. Woohoo! Um, eh, didn't arrive too far. Now the profit, though, 31k in ammo cost. He must have fired some premium rounds that I didn't see. Maybe at the end of the T125. I didn't actually see it, but must be because these shots are 1,024 credits per shell. I think, give or take. Or he's more expensive. I don't remember. Um, don't remember the shell price, but I didn't see him for any premium, so maybe I'm just off at the shell price, I don't know. But, it seems like he should have made a bit more profit than that. I mean, doing 3.5k damage in a tier 10 game, sheesh. So, this was during a 3 times event, very nice, for a grand total of 4,000 experience. Let's see, what does he say, tier 10 match, ace tanker, bounce death shard 2 times... Uh, good angling, and... Yep. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, nothing to comment about, really. The uh, side scraping was done pretty well. The only time, the only comment I have is with the IS-3, where he pulls out sideways and takes a shot into the side from the IS-3. Still bounces it, of course, because sheer luck, but... Um, yeah, that could have been handled a little bit better. Um... And his angling at the IS-3 just during the whole duel could have been a little bit better. But overall, I would say that it was pretty well done and pretty well um, handling of the tank in general. So yeah, well played, well done, and thank you for submitting it. And thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.